Today's topic is differentiation from the first principle. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel after we are able to solve this question. So we are hereby to differentiate uh, y is equal to root x from the first principle in differentiation. So in differentiating these questions, we have, you know, if y is equal to root x, I want to differentiate from the first principle, we have y plus change in y is equal to x plus change in x. Therefore, dy is equal to x plus change in x minus y. Showing to us that dy is equal to change x plus change in x minus root x. So let's try to expand this before we uh, do not differentiate with respect to it because we are using the first principle. So in using the first principle, we have dy is equal to x plus change in x raised to the power half minus x raised to the power half. How do we expand this? Let's try to expand this and let's go to the difference of two squares. Recall that a squared minus b squared can be written as a plus b bracket a minus b. So, if you agree that this is this, let's try to reform this. Recall that you can able to say that x plus change in x raised to power half at the same time square minus x raised to power half you also scale the value so by applying this law so the more you apply this let's now put it inside to half something like this is x plus change in x raised to power half plus x raised to power half onto you now have a minus x plus change in x raised to power half minus x raised to power half. So this is the value. The expansion, but to recall that we are able to gain what we need from this. Let's now apply these two inside. This will give us x plus change in x minus x is the same thing as x plus change in x raised to power half plus x raised to power half onto x plus change in x raised to power half minus x raised to power half. Let's expand this and let's see what we get. We have x plus change in x minus x is equal to x plus change in x or is to power half plus x to the power half bracket open and close x change in x raised to power half minus x to the power half this we can meaning that the x is equal to x plus change in x or raised to power half plus x raised to power half x plus change in x raised to power half minus x raised to power half. Our expansion that we need now is this. You know our dy is equal to this. So let's make x plus the x raised to power half minus this. Let's make this as a subject of the formula. So in making this as a subject of the formula we have, let the Bible side by this. 
We have x plus change in x raised to the power half minus x raised to the power half, which is this. We surely give you the same value as x the x divide by this x plus change in x all raised to the power half plus x raised to the power half. So this is exactly what we need in expansions of this. So we are able to true it. So in expansion of this is the same thing as this. With this proof, we are able to use this proving. We are only using this law to prove it a manipulation. So let me clean this board area. So So since the value of the y that we need now, so if the expansion of this is this, and the y is equal to x plus change in x raised to the power half minus x raised to the power half. If the y is equal to this, meaning that the y is equal to the x over x plus change in x raised to power half plus x raised to power half. So that is exactly what we need. So if the y is equal to this, this is what we need exactly. Therefore, let's try to find the y, the x, that is the area we are going to, which is the x divided by x plus change in x raised to power half plus x raised to power half. You know, it's divided by the x divided by the x. Meanwhile, the y is equal to the x is equal to the x over x plus change in x raised to power half plus x to the power half, this division from the rules of fraction, this division will change to times, but to reciprocate, times 1 over change in x. This, we cancel this. Therefore, the y, the x, will give you 1 over x plus change in x raised to power half plus x raised to, raised to power half. So this is our answer, but recall that as the x tends to zero, you have to consider this factor. The moment x tends to zero, therefore we have so as the x tends to zero, meaning that the y, the x is equal to one over x plus zero raised to the power half plus x raised to the power half, the y, the x, is equal to 1 over x raised to the power half plus x raised to the power half. The y, the x, is equal to 1 over... So, you recall, you remember that they are common and they are the same. So, they are like terms. You can able to add them together to have a value like 2 s raised to power half. So, let's go back to the loss of indices. The loss of indices let us to know that 1 over a raised to power n can be written as a raised to power minus n. So, if our dy dx is equal to 1 over 2 dot 1 over x raised to the power half. So let's apply the loss of indices to this. We have the y, the x is equal to 1 over 2 dot x onto minus half. So therefore, the final answer now gives us the y, the x is equal to 1 over 2, x onto minus 1 over 2. So this is the final answer. But let's cross-check. 
The real formula for differentiation is this. If y is equal to x to the power n, the y, the x, is equal to this n, we multiply x, n minus 1. So we now have y is equal to root x, which is equal as x to the power half. So therefore, the y, the x, we now give you 1 over 2, x on the 1 over 2 minus 1, which is equal to 1 over 2, x on the minus half. You recall that this and this, they are the same. Showing to us that what we got from this question is correct. This is the first principle in differentiation. Like this video, share this video for more of this. And thanks for